a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. John Leslie, TV presenter. John Leslie is a Scottish former television and radio presenter. Debuting on Music Box in 1987, he later presented BBC One's Blue Peter and ITV's This Morning and the game show Wheel of Fortune. He was also the studio host for the first series of the UK version of Survivor. Personal Life John Leslie Stott was born in Edinburgh, the brother of Grant Stott. He attended Liberton High School and James Gillespie's High School. He spent his early years in the church choir, studied music on leaving school, and worked as a DJ in Copenhagen. His first television work was on Yorkshire Television, when he hosted Music Box Soul Night Music Show, Formula One, in 1989. Prior to his television career he worked as a DJ in nightclubs in Edinburgh and Newcastle becoming resident at the Blue Bamboo Club. Leslie is also known for a celebrity sex tape he filmed of his girlfriend, Abby Titmus, having sex with another woman, which was originally a home movie, but was made public. Football. Leslie is also known for his affinity for football. He played in goal for the Scottish team in the Celebrity World Cup Soccer 6 tournament, which took place on 14 May 2006 at St Andrews, the home of Birmingham City. He is a supporter of Hibernian. Blue Peter On 20 April 1989, Leslie became Blue Peter's first Scottish presenter, and also the door listed 1.93 metres. He was the second Blue Peter presenter to take part in the London Marathon, following Peter Duncan. He finished in 4 hours, 36 minutes. On his last show he was set John's final challenge which involved Ab sailing down BBC Television Centre, completing a Velcro and wheelbarrow obstacle course, then trampolining, and conducting an orchestra in the studio. Leslie presented Blue Peter with Carol Keating, Yvette Fielding, Diane Louise Jordan, Anthea Turner, and Tim Vincent. This morning, from series 11 in 1999 Leslie, alongside Fern Britton, was a regular presenter of the Friday show. When Madeley and Finnegan departed the show in 2001, they were replaced by Colleen Nolan and Twiggy, with Britton and Leslie remaining on Fridays. However, Nolan and Twiggy proved less popular with viewers. So Britton and Leslie took on the full job of presenting the show, bringing the ratings back up to around 1 million. In 2002, after allegations of sexual offences were made in the press, Leslie was dismissed from the programme and replaced by Philip Schofield from Mondays to Thursdays and by Eamon Holmes on Fridays with Ruth Langsford. Music and Radio In December 2003, Leslie appeared in the music video for the Christmas single, Proper Crimbo, released by Bo Selector. Creator Lee Francis, alongside Matthew Wright in a spoof of their presumed rivalry. In November 2012, John Leslie began to present Friday's Drive Time show on 98.8 Castle FM, hoping to revive his career as a radio DJ. In March 2013, Leslie was among the Castle FM presenters who walked out in a disagreement with their management, only to be locked out when they tried to return. By the end of the year, the radio station had become automated, with no presenters. On 28 March 2014, it was announced that Leslie would begin presenting his own Saturday radio show across the Scottish Power Radio AM network, debuting the following day. Rape and Assault Allegations In October 2002, it emerged that Ulrika Johnson had written in her autobiography, Honest that, an acquaintance, had raped her when she was 19. It became known that the man was a TV presenter after comments by Jonathan Ross on his chat show, amid media speculation. Television presenter Matthew Wright disclosed on the right stuff that Leslie was the alleged perpetrator. Johnson has never said whether the correct person was named. Shortly afterwards, other women made accusations of indecent assault against Leslie, and he was arrested in December 2002 on one count of rape and two concerning indecent assault, and released on bail after being interviewed by the police. Leslie was charged in June 2003 with assaulting a woman twice between 25 and 28 May 1997. He was never charged for offences against Johnson. 
The prosecution dropped the charges against Leslie at Southwark Crown Court on 31 July 2003 after new information from the alleged victim. On the court steps after he was cleared, Leslie said that he had been to hell and back, and that he had maintained his innocence throughout. In January 2006 Leslie was interviewed for the BBC series My Childhood, during which he analysed his childhood memories with psychiatrist Linda Tre Living. In the programme Leslie admitted that he had never learned how to treat women with respect and never learned how to chat up women, admitting that he abused drugs, but claiming he did so as a result of childhood trauma. Shortly afterwards, in an interview with The Independent, he repeated this version of events, admitting, My behaviour was at times inappropriate. On 23 June 2008, British media reported that Leslie had again been arrested in relation to an alleged rape that happened in November 1995. Again, no charges were brought. Speaking on ITV's Daybreak programme in early 2013, Leslie recounted the events subsequent to the allegations being made and said that he had contemplated suicide. In November 2015, Leslie was suspended from his job on Radio 4 while police investigated claims he sexually assaulted a 22-year-old woman following a radio awards ceremony. A Police Scotland spokeswoman said, Police in Edinburgh are investigating a report of a sexual assault of a 22-year-old woman, which took place between the evening of Thursday the 19th of November and the morning of Friday the 20th of November in Edinburgh. The investigation into this allegation was dropped on 14 February 2016. In May 2017, Leslie was reported to be in talks to appear on Celebrity Big Brother in a bid to revive his career. In November 2017, Leslie was charged with sexually assaulting a woman at the Attic nightclub in Edinburgh on 25 June 2017. His trial started at Edinburgh Sheriff Court on 18 June 2018. He was defended by Derek Ogg QC. A woman alleged that she had been dancing with Leslie when he put his hand down the back of her trousers. On the 22nd of June 2018, Leslie was acquitted by the court after the charge was found not proven. In July 2018, Leslie announced that he was going to make a complaint against Police Scotland after being cleared of sexual assault. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?